Hello, my dear students. Let us take one more example. Uh, the base period intensity of irrigation and duty of various crops under a canal system are given in the table below. Find the reservoir capacity if the canal losses are 20% and the reservoir losses are 12%. Okay, here these are the crops and base period is given and area is given. Duty at the field is given. Okay, here actually you have to calculate the volume. Once if you get the volume, you can find the required capacity. So that is nothing but the total volume uh, divided by the loss. So, you will get uh, the required capacity of the reservoir. So, to find the volume, how you can find the volume? Volume is nothing but area into delta. Okay. So, area here it is given and uh, duty is given. So, delta is not given but you have base period, you have duty so you can calculate delta. Okay, so how uh, we can do, let us do this uh, 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 table. Okay, so crop this is given and base period also given and duty at the field is given here. These three, this is given. Okay, next uh, I added here delta that is nothing but 8.64 B divided by D and area is given here. Okay, uh, that is uh, 4,800. These are the areas, 5,600, 2,400, 3,200 and 1,400. Now, you have to calculate the volume. Okay, so how will you calculate delta? So, for each crop, you have to calculate delta. So, that is for first weight, that is 8.64 into B is 120 divided by D that is 1800. So uh, that gives 0.576. Then area is given. So delta this into this that gives 2765.0. Okay. Like this, calculate it for uh, sugar. Okay. How sugar cane? How you can calculate? Delta is equal to 8.64 into 360 divided by 800 that gives 3.890. Okay, then a volume is equal to this delta into area. So, that is 21,800. Similarly, for cotton, calculate delta. That is 1.235. And area is 2,400. So, volume is 2,965. Rice, that is 3,690. Vegetables, 2,070. Okay. So, calculate the total volume. That is, add the all the volume of each crop that is this 2765 plus 21800 plus 2965 plus 3690 plus 2070 okay you get uh, 33290 once if you get the volume you can calculate the required uh, water uh, volume of the water required by the crops that is this that 33,290. Now we have to calculate required capacity of the reservoir. That is nothing but 33,290 divided by the losses. Here there are two types of the losses. One is canal loss that is 20%. So the water available is only 80% is available. Then reservoir loss is 12%. So only 82% age is available. Okay. Uh, sorry, 88% age is available. So that's why it is 0.8. Uh, means 80 divided by 100 and uh, this is 12 that is 100 minus 12 that is 88 so 88 percent that is 0.88 so we get 47,300 hectares per meter so like this you can calculate what is the required capacity of the reservoir i hope all of you understood uh, we can uh, solve uh, uh, if you want to more problems in the class. I hope all of you understood. Next, I will go to some small uh, uh, chapters. That is, uh, the factors affecting the duty. Okay. So, uh, the amount of the water, that is 1 cubic of discharge, available for crop for full growth during the full uh, crop for full growth during the entire base period is called duty. This I already explained. The duty of water of canal system depends upon a variety of the factors. The principal factors are 
The first one is methods and systems of irrigation, mode of applying water to the crops, methods of cultivation, time and frequency of tilling, types of the crop, base period of the crop, climatic conditions of the area, quality of water, method of assessment, canal conditions, character of soil and subsoil of the canal. These are the main factors which uh, affects the duty. Okay, let us take, uh, uh, let us discuss one by one, uh, that is uh, the soil characteristics. If the soil of the canal bed is porous, okay, and coarse ground means it has uh, some voids in between the particles and it is coarse ground, it leads to more seepage loss and consequently low beauty. If it consists of alluvial soil, the percolation loss will be less and the soil retains the moisture for longer period and consequently the duty will be high. Okay. Second type is climatic condition. When the temperature of the command area is high, the evaporation loss is smooth and the duty becomes low and vice versa. Rainfall. If rainfall is sufficient during the crop period, the duty will be more and vice versa. Okay. Base period. When the base period is longer, the water requirement will be more and the duty will be low and it opposite that is vice versa. Next thing is uh, type of crop. The water requirement for various crop is different. So the duty varies from crop to crop. Topography of the agricultural land. If the land is uneven, the duty will be low. As the ground slope increases, the duty decreases and uh, that is a waste because of the wastage of water. Method of plowing. Proper deep plowing which is done by tractors requires overall less quantity of water. Hence, the duty is high. Methods of irrigation. The duty of water is high in case of perennial irrigation system as compared to that in inundation irrigation system. Then water tax. If some tax is imposed, the farmer will use the water economically, thus increasing the duty. So these are the main factors which affects the duty. Next we will see how we can improve the duty. So there are some methods. The first one is proper blocking. Plowing should be done properly and deeply so that the moisture retaining capacity of soil is increased. The methods of supplying water, this is the second type. The method of supplying water to the agricultural land should be decided according to the field and soil condition. For example, furrow method for crops sown on rows, contour method for hilly areas, basing for orchards, flooding for plain lands, like this. Okay, so it depends on the uh, type of the field and the soil condition. The canal lining, it is provided to reduce percolation loss and operation loss due to high velocity. The next method is minimum idle length of irrigation canals. The canal should be nearest to the command area so that idle length of the canal is minimum and hence reduce transmission uh, losses. Then quality of water, good quality of water should be used for irrigation. Pollution uh, and root the canal should be avoided. Then crop rotation, the principle of crop rotation should be adopted to increase the moisture retaining capacity and fertility of the soil. Then method of assessment of water, particularly the volumetric assessment would encourage the farmer to use the water carefully. Then implementation of tax, the water tax should be imposed on the basis of volume of water consumption. So these are the main methods which would improve the uh, beauty. Okay, then cropping seasons. Uh, that is uh, all of us know uh, Karif that is uh, the season is 15th June to 14th October. Usually the rice, jover, cotton, mice, groundnut, tur, ud, udit, uh, Bajri, etc. These are all Karif seasons uh, crops. Next, Rabi season, it starts from 15th October to 14th February. Okay, so that is wheat, gram, linseed, mustard, uh, 
dana kara dai foda etc then hot weather this is eight monthly or um, eight monthly uh, no this is hot weather that is 15th february to 14th jan uh, june that is vegetables then eight monthly that is uh, 15th june to 14th february that is tobacco and cotton then annual that is perennial uh, 15th june to 14th june next june that is sugar cane or cats banana tang Twelve to eighteen months. Okay, so these are the different cropping seasons in India. I hope all of you understood. Thank you.